so this building right behind me is the Warren G. Harding Cultural Arts Museum here in Gadsden, Alabama. And that's what we're going to check out today. This museum, the Warren G. Harding Cultural Arts Museum, is on my list of places that I can attend through the membership I acquired at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. So that's really cool too. I'm actually in a different area than the Cultural Arts Center. I'm in a children's center right now, but they have this really cool train exhibit that I wanted to see. Look at this, this model train set here. This thing is huge probably one of the biggest ones I've ever seen the detail that they put into this model train set is absolutely amazing this is Gadsden Alabama they have the industrial shops the streets are done the Capitol buildings I really don't see any trains that are moving right now but the rest of this is simply amazing all the way down to the little cars and street signs and this building right here, I pass by it every day as I take Amy to work. It's been tore down, but I still pass by where that was. It's simply, it's just crazy. Oh, here comes a few trains. I did find some that were working. They were just hiding. Here's a circus set, big top. P.T. Barnum's train, Ringling Brothers. A complete circus area. I'm not going to really go into the children's areas because I don't want parents to think I'm a creep and they're filming their kids, although it sounds pretty cool. Big interactive areas, all famous children's books like Peter Rabbit and stuff like that. But uh, So apparently the Museum of Cultural Arts is next door, which is where we are going to walk over to. are in the Fine Art Museum here and I knew um, we're not really gonna look at the art part of it downstairs we are up on the third floor which is their the Gadsden history part of the museum and they have some really cool things up here for example right here behind me is their fire department section the Gadsden fire department the cool bronze tank there. Police hat and stick. They have a replica here of one of the first doctor's offices here in Gadsden. I think we've been hanging outside of his office door. And actually there he is there riding in his car. There's his examination table. A dictaphone over there. This right here is like an early recorder. He has a microscope there on his desk. Microscope. Medicine cabinet over here full of medicine. And those are his actual diplomas from when he became a doctor out of school. And I uh, really have no clue what this piece is. So I'll show it to you one more time. If you know what it is, put it in the comments below. You can, uh, if you know what it is, put it down in the comments below because I have no clue. Here in Gas, and one of the major players when it comes to the industry business here in Gaston is the Goodyear Tire Company plant. It's still here. It's, it's an active plant today. Goodyear makes their tires here, but it's been here for a long time. They have a Look at that really cool old gas pump there. 
This has not been restored. This glass would have been filled with gasoline. It has not been restored and it's in pretty good shape. Okay, but back to Goodyear. The plant's still here now. It's still an active plant, but it's been here for a long time. Here they have information on the Goodyear plant. This is a tire they've they've cut this section out of so you can see what it looks like on the inside this is called the state machines William C state hired by Goodyear in 1901 as chief engineer shared the patent for this early tire building machine first used in 1908 here's some pictures from out of the factory and this is in 1940 this is the same time period as well they're curing a tire, pulling it out of a vat. That looks like a tractor tire there. Program factory inspection trip. The dedication of the plant, July 11th, 1929. Look at this movie poster here for Slave Girl. Slave Girl is a 1947 Universal Pictures film production directed by Charles Lamont and starring Yvonne DiCarlo. This film was the first to premiere at Gadsden's Pittman Theater. It, was the very first film Gadsden's Pittman Theater ever showed. It's an old projector out of Pittman. This projector is the one that played that movie. This was in the Pittman Theater in 1920 through 1926. Absolutely amazing. The film reel would have went up here and down here and would have ran through this box projecting it out onto a screen that's absolutely awesome they also have this very old camera here this camera is from 1950 it's a studio camera the 8x10 Deerdorf camera and was used by the Birmingham News here's some more images from the Goodyear plant here's an old Goodyear tire that was made in 1929 the Goodyear balloon this was the second tire ever produced at the Goodyear tire and rubber company here the very second one off the line it's amazing that they have it another big industry back in the day here in Gadsden was cotton this area right here is dedicated to the Dwight cotton mill As part of the art museum, this is their most famous piece that they have in their gallery. This is by Salvador Dali from 1927. Apparatus at hand. Apparatus and hand. So they didn't have much in uh, their history collection, but it was just Gadsden history. It wasn't history about anything else. And it was really cool to see. All right, so I've taken Amy to work and now I'm back at the hotel. It started pouring rain on me. Like, right after I got that last shot, I packed up my camera, put it in the car, got in the car. Before I could back out of that parking space, the bottom fell out. And it, it's been raining pretty hard ever since. In fact, it's still raining out there right now. So, uh, it's supposed to be doing that tomorrow too, unfortunately. Um, but that's okay. I have somewhere else in mind that's indoors that we can go to tomorrow so we can still provide some good content. Uh, the place we went to today was um, there was it was Gaston's Museum of Art. Now I didn't show any of their art really um, except for the one painting that they had and the reason for that is because uh, what two or two days ago three days ago something like that I uploaded the Montgomery Museum of Fine Arts video and that was has been my lowest watched video it has less views than any other video I've posted in recent time so obviously my demographics the people that watch my videos don't care about the museum of, or fine art or art in general some, or, or anything like that or the majority of you so I opted not to show the art 
and just go for the artifacts, which is really what I wanted to see anyways, because I, like I told you the other day in that video, well, no, you probably didn't see it. Uh, I am not very cultured. I am just a southern guy, and so I don't know much about art. I don't know what's good art, what's bad art. I don't know that stuff, but I do like history. I love history, and I love to see old historic items like that. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. I want to thank you all for watching. Every last one of you. I even want to thank the uh, the hater who comes through and clicks the thumbs down button on all my videos. I want to thank you too because you, I appreciate the view. You know, I, I like getting those views on my videos. So I really appreciate that. So I can't thank you all enough for watching my videos. I will be back tomorrow. Until then, I hope you have a great night. And I'll see you again tomorrow.